Genesis in verse number 15 that shows us one thing that there's going to be a struggle all the days of life between good and evil. Amen. That things never was going to be easy. Amen. But there was always going to be a fight between the good forces and the evil forces. Amen. The church ever since it's been around, ever since man has been around, has always, always had a struggle to do that which is good. Amen. It seems like that evil comes easy. Amen. Tonight, but the struggle to do good is always hard. Amen. Amen. So uh, uh, we want to preach a message on watch out for the snake. There's certain things. Amen. That uh, it is about a snake. God had a reason that He pictured the devil as a snake. Amen. And if you study up on a, on a snake, a snake always, Amen. It is aware. Amen. It is always pursuing its prey. Amen. This thing, might I tell you today, as long as you live here on this side. The devil ain't never going to give up on you. Amen. He's going to try everything in his power. Amen. That's the reason that uh, Peter said that he is as a roaring lion 
seeking whom he may devour. Amen. The closer you get to God, amen, evil is always going to be all around you. Amen. amen. And so the devil today, amen, is seeking out his prey. Amen. And brother, I'm telling you, he'll slip <laughs> upon you, amen, before you ever know that he's even anywhere around. He can hide himself in the grass. He can hide himself in the weeds. They can hang uh, from trees. They dig holes uh, out in the earth. Amen. It tells us uh, that the serpent uh, is everywhere. Amen. What I say today, uh, uh, boy, the devil is everywhere. Amen. He ain't only here uh, fighting against this church. Uh, he's everywhere in Amen. the world. Uh, amen. Tonight he'll never live. He'll never give up. Uh, and he'll never quit uh, until God uh, puts an end to him. Uh, even whenever Christ Jesus uh, was here, you remember uh, uh, the Lord went up in the mountain uh, uh, for 40 days and 40 nights. He fought the devil. Uh, the devil Amen. brought everything that he had uh, against the Lord uh, and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, Amen. And the devil uh, will do the same thing uh, to you, my friend. Uh, you are no chance uh, to win the war uh, against the devil uh, unless the Lord uh, and Savior Jesus Christ uh, intervenes uh, on your behalf. Amen. Amen. I want to show you some things that will happen to you in life whenever you get bitten. Amen. This evening, you know, a, 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 a lot of snakes in the, in the world, they can poison you. Amen. This scene, and there's some, uh, even uh, uh, snakes in the land that can sort of hypnotize, hypnotize their prey. Amen. To where they can't move, they'll, free, they'll make that prey freeze up. Amen. And hey, don't you know today that a snake is able to eat things that is two or three times their size? Amen. Able to grab it by the jaws. Amen. And able to suck it in. I might I tell you today, the devil ain't only wanting to clank down on you with his jaws, but he's wanting to suck you in to the ways of his life. Amen, boy, I tell you what, there's something about a snake, amen, tonight. Hey, brother, the only kind of snake I like is a dead snake. Amen, tonight and then. I don't want to have very much to do with him, but when we get bitten by a snake, there's certain things that'll happen. Amen. 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 Number Amen. one, if you're ever bitten by the snake, you know what he'll cause you to do? He'll cause you to doubt. Amen. He'll cause you to doubt God's Word. He'll cause you to doubt God's goodness. Amen. This evening, he'll cause you to doubt of how much that God really loves you. He'll cause doubt to come into your mind that God's Word is not true. He'll cause you to doubt the people around you. He, he's trying his level best, amen, to get your eyes off of the one that loves you more than anybody else, amen. And brother, I'm telling you this evening, whenever you doubt, you lose your joy, amen. Whenever you doubt, it hinders your walk with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I can walk with Him today because I know who that he is. Amen. I know he's my redeemer. I know he's the one that is living on high. And I know the rewards for living a Christian life is real. And one day, all of my hopes and my dreams is going to be reality. Amen. Amen. But he'll cause you to doubt. He'll cause you to take your eyes off of the goodness of God. Might I say today, it doesn't matter whether you're lost. It doesn't matter whether you're saved. Amen. You're sitting in here this morning because of the goodness of God. Amen. Right. Well, I tell you, Amen. you could have very well, amen, been up at the funeral hall. You could have very well been in the hospital. Amen. You could have very well been thrown up in the jailhouse. You could have very well been in prison. You could have very well been 
been on your deathbed, you could have very well been in an accident uh, this morning uh, coming to work, uh, coming to church in your life, uh, and be pulled out from you and under you, uh, and that you're here this morning uh, because of the goodness of God, uh, and because He loves you. Uh, he enabled us to get up, uh, have a smile on our Amen. face, uh, a shout in our voice, uh, a victory in our heart. Uh, Amen. Boy, I tell you what, uh, uh, don't never doubt uh, what God has done for you. Uh, that's the first thing you've done to Eve. Uh, he made her doubt uh, about right. God uh, and about right. the goodness. Uh, Amen. Tonight, you know why? Uh, so many people uh, are not in the house of God because they got their eyes on people uh, and not on God. Uh, and I tell you today, uh, man will fail you uh, every time. Uh, but Jesus said, uh, I'll never leave uh, or forsake you. I am the devil when you get snake me. Come on. It'll cause you to doubt. Hey Amen. Have you ever got to the point? Amen to where you wandered in your life. Amen if you was really saved or not. Amen if you ever got to that point that, yeah, amen, you just really wondered if God really loved you the way that He said He did. Amen. This thing you say, preacher, I ain't never been there. Don't lie to me. You're in church. <laughs> amen. You're sitting underneath the roof. Amen. Amen. Tonight, God knows our heart. Every one of us, Brother James, has been to that point. Amen. 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 To where uh, the old devil tried to make us stand. Amen. This thing that they've been times in my life, I tried to pray and I couldn't. Amen. Tonight, they've been times in my life, I tried to shout and I couldn't. They've been times in my life. I tried to show the joy in my heart and I couldn't get it done. Amen. Amen. There was a preacher called me this morning. Amen. He said, have you ever got to the point of where you can't pray? I said, yes, sir. I've been there many of a time. He said, has it lasted a long time? I said, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it seems like that you pray and your prayers go down. Instead of going up, they made me say, Preacher, how in the world do you get through it? I said, you got to remember, God hears our heart and not our voice. I'm glad tonight that I can't pray. He still knows what I need. When that old serpent comes around, Amen. When that old slippery animal Come on, Bridget. Amen, Come on. slides in and he takes a bite out of our life. Uh -huh. Come on. Amen. Tonight it causes us to doubt. Amen. The good things of God. Amen. Tonight, boy, I can honestly say today, God's been better to me. Amen. Amen. Than he has anybody else. He's blessed my life beyond measure. Amen. I have a home awaiting over on the other Amen. side. Amen. This evening, and buddy, I tell you what, I don't like the old devil. Amen. Amen. I don't like that old slivery animal. Amen. Tonight, boy, listen tonight. If we know what the devil looked like, Amen. We need we wouldn't have anything to do with him. But that's the trouble. He can disguise himself. He can camouflage himself in the fall of the year. Amen. Tonight they'll shed that old skin. Amen. And they'll take hold a new form of life. Honey, that's what the devil does. About the time you think you got rid of him, here he'll come again in full force attacking you. When you That's right. That's right. That's right. He'll cause you to doubt. Amen. Doubt the goodness of God. He'll put discouragement in your heart. <coughs> Amen. Boy, how many times have we been discouraged? Amen. How many times have we been on the road and we thought, boy, what's the use? Amen. Just feel like throwing <laughs> in the towel sometimes. Amen. That's when we get bit. Amen. Amen. That's when the old serpent is bitten us. He discourages us. He, he makes us look at our problems more than we look at God. Amen. Tonight, if we had just put more concentration on 
loving God. Amen. And just thinking less about ourselves, we'd be a whole lot better off. Amen. Tonight, if we'd put our focus on doing what is right, Amen. And serving Him and lifting His name up. Amen. Instead of worrying about everything around us, honey. Listen tonight, you ain't got a problem that is so big. Amen. That God can't fix you. Amen. You ain't never been a place so low, but what God can't reach down and Amen. bring you up out of that old barry cloth of sin. Amen. And brother, I'm telling you tonight, I was stuck for a long time. Amen. In the mud hole of this old Old world. Amen tonight. But boy, I'm glad tonight that old male scarred hand reached down into that mud hole and he got a hold of me and he picked me up Amen. and he put my feet upon a solid rock. Amen. Amen. Boy, I tell Amen. you, I've never uh, I've seen a time in our churches uh, that people uh, are so discouraged. Uh, Amen tonight. Get your eyes uh, off of the things of the world uh, and put them on the Lord. Uh, and let God encourage you uh, to be a soldier uh, in this race uh, uh, for the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You need Amen. any discouragement that you look at your problems more than you look at God. How many times have we got our eyes off of Him wondering how we're going to fix our situation? Amen. And when it got fixed to come to realize it, He's the one that fixed it and we didn't have anything to do with. Amen. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you what, the biggest part of the time when we get ourselves into a mess and we try to fix it, Amen, Brother Eddie, we just keep digging the hole deeper and deeper and deeper. Amen, tonight there's people swallowed up in problems today. Amen, because they took their eyes off of the problem solver, and that's Jesus. Amen. Brother, I'm telling you tonight, listen tonight, this old world will give you a lot of heartache, it'll give you a lot of pain, it'll give you a lot of trouble, it'll cause you a lot of sorrow. Amen, but boy, there's a man called Jesus tonight and is able to heal them old snake bites. Amen. Boy, I tell you what, you get bit by a, a snake that is full of poison. Amen. Boy, and that snake bites you, you got a few minutes to get somewhere to get you some help. Amen. Because if you don't, you're going to die. Amen. And brother, I tell you, there's been a lot of people uh, that has been snake bit in uh, by this old venomous snake uh, and has died uh, and went to hell. Uh, Amen. Uh, before they got to a place uh, and they give them some help. Uh, amen. Because the only yeah. one uh, that has the antidote uh, for this minimus bite uh, is the Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going to give you some advice. Uh, quit relying uh, on your power and rely on His uh, because He's got it all. Amen. We get snaked in. We get yeah. discouraged. We yep. get snaked yep. and we get discouraged. We begin to look at the things around us. Amen. Puts me in the mind of one of the apostles when Peter come a walking to him. And when the Lord come a walking to Peter, and Peter was there in the boat. And he cried out and he said, Lord, if it be you. In other words, what Peter was saying, he said, God, if that's really you walking on the water. He said, let me come to you. Uh -huh. Amen. He said, let me come to you. What did the Lord do? The Lord reached out His hands and said, Peter, you want to come to me? Just get out of the boat, boy. Just get out of the boat and start to make a move. Amen. Tonight, and boy, old Peter swung them legs across that boat. Amen. Stood up on the water. Amen. Amen. Tonight, stood up on them old waves. Amen. Tonight, the waves couldn't take him in under. Amen. Them old sinkholes couldn't suck him down. Amen. Tonight, because he had his eyes on one. Amen. 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 It was able, thank God, to control of the storms of this old life. And you know what Peter began to do? Amen. He began to walk to Jesus. Amen. You say, preacher, how far did he go? I don't know. I don't know. 
doesn't say, but the Bible says, yeah. and he got out he of the boat, out. and he began to right. walk. Amen to Jesus. Amen. And boy, I tell you, as he began to walk to Jesus, having his eyes upon the Lord. Amen. Tonight, here come that old a serpent. Amen. And boy, I tell you, any time we're right at the verge of getting close to God, here comes that old serpent. Amen. Amen. And boy, I tell you, Peter, I was a doing good. And here come that old serpent. Amen. A flipping that old tail through the waters. Amen. And he got underneath of where Peter was at. And boy, a lot of times we'll be doing so good. And here comes that old serpent. And he'll get underneath right where we're at. And when we least expect it, he'll reach up and he'll bite us. I like to do Peter. And when Peter I got bending out by that old serpent, and the first thing he done is he took his eyes off of Jesus. Amen. He took his eyes off of Jesus. Amen. And I believe once he took his eyes off of Jesus, I believe he said, Lord, what in the world am I doing? Man can't walk on water. And he began to look around. And he began to sink. Amen. Amen. Boy, how many times? How many times have we begin to sink? Amen. Amen. They've been a lot of times in my Christian life. Boy, that I could feel myself sinking. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what, when I begin to sink, I'm like old Peter, I begin to cry out for help. Amen. And that's what Peter done. Amen. He didn't have to get very far in under the water. Amen. I believe by the time it reached that boy's kneecaps, he was done a hog. Amen. Lord, I need some help. God, I need you to come to my rescue. Amen. And like so many times before, amen, Jesus reached out to him. Amen. You might be in here this morning. You might be in snake bitten. Amen. You might be sinking in the quicksands of sin. Amen. But there's a man called Jesus Christ and is able to reach down and take us by the hand. Amen. And able to pull us up out of that old quicksand. Amen. And to put our feet back up on the solid rock. Amen. The old devil, boy, he, he likes nothing better. Amen. Than to get in the middle of the church service. Amen. And get people discouraged. Amen. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you what. Listen tonight. Boy, if the old snake bites you. Amen. Do not run to the altar. Amen. Because there's help. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of you people come pray with her. Amen. Do not, do not tell you why. Boy, listen to me tonight. The devil will cause you to get discouraged. He'll not only cause you to get discouraged, but number three, he'll cause a diversion. Amen. How many times have you been on the right track and you get sidetracked? How many times have you been on far for God? And boy, I'm telling you, God's a blessing everything you do. He's a blessing every time you pray. Amen. This evening, and then you get sidetracked on what you're doing. Amen. That's what diversion is. Amen. It'll divert you from what? what? From the way that you're supposed to be going into a way that you don't need to be. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what, he's the best thing on diversion you've ever seen in your life. Boy, whenever he gets you in diversion, amen, tonight, you know what? He'll make the wrong things seem more attractive to you than the right things. Amen. He'll, he'll tell you, he'll pat you on the back. Amen. Tonight, if you're a part-time member of the family of God, the old man will pat you on the back and tell you how good a job you're doing because he don't want you and to get in there full-time and to be all you can be for this man and call Jesus. He will put diversion in front of you. Amen. He'll make the good things of this old world look good. Amen. He'll say, oh, you need this. Oh, you need this. You can't live without it. 
Amen. Tonight, and boy, I'm telling you, we'll, we'll fall in love. Amen. Have you ever seen anything in this whole world? Amen. And your heart thinks, man, there ain't no way I can live life without this. Amen. The first time me and my wife went to the beach, amen, whenever we went down there and spin away, I never had seen a microwave up. And amen. And boy, they put a baked potato in that thing, pushed that thing, and it was done in about three or four minutes. I fell in love. Amen. It takes an hour to make a potato. I said, what is this thing? They said, they call it a microwave. I told them, I said, boy, we get home. We're going to get us one of them. And they said, in the kitchen, man, it'll make life a whole lot easier. But honey, the devil will divert you from walking in the will of God. You cause diversion to come up on you. You want to know why that our churches is only halfway full? Because they're diversion among God's people. There's things that looks better to them than sitting on a church pew. Amen. There's things that looks better to them than sitting in a pew listening to the preaching of the Word of God and growing in the grace and in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's caused diversion to come in. Amen. Tonight, boy, I tell you what. He'd say, well, your family is more important <laughs> than being in the house of God. I disagree. Amen. 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 He's saying, well, he said, you, you, you have a right to have a life of your own. You sure do. God give you one. Now use it for His glory Amen. and His honor. Amen. Amen. Tonight, you'll never win your family to the Lord being a part-time Christian. Amen. 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 God wants you all the time. Amen. He saved you. I to do a word for him. Amen. Don't let that old Satan Amen. come in and snip you on the heel. Amen. Tonight, that's what he's done to so many people. There's churches all around us. They can't have Sunday night service. And they can't have Wednesday night service because they don't have enough people. <coughs> <laughs> Amen. Listen tonight. That's the diversion of the devil. Amen. Tonight he'll he'll take you away. He'll pull you away from the things of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Tonight he'll weaken you as a vessel, as an instrument of Almighty God. Amen. Tonight he'll make the beautiful things of this world look beautiful. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, you used to be years ago and some places still do it. Amen. You could be driving down the highway. Amen. And boy, they'll have a, a woman there in a the little old bikini. Amen. Tonight in a holding a cold glass of beer. Amen. In her hand. That was an advertisement of the beer. Amen. Tonight. And people would look upon that and the devil would use that tactic uh, uh, to draw them in. Uh, amen. But on the back side of that picture, yeah, uh, it didn't show how many kids yeah. uh, uh, they didn't have clothes on their back. Uh, yeah. How many times they yeah. went to bed uh, uh, during yeah. the week hungry. Uh, how many times uh, yeah. uh, that their family laid awake uh, uh, the night of praying for them uh, uh, that yeah. they might see the light. Uh, yeah. Amen. The night alcohol uh, in this world uh, has run our nation uh, and the day He'll give you a diversion. Yeah. He'll give you a diversion. He'll do anything in your life to get your eyes off of what you're supposed to be doing. Hey Amen. Tonight he'll do anything that it takes. And believe me, the devil's got a lot of resources. He's got a lot of resources today that he uses in this old world to tantalize this old earthly flesh. Amen. Tonight to get our eyes off of the one that died for us. Amen. More diversion is a, is a horrible, horrible thing. I get calls sometimes during the week. Amen. And people say, well, preacher, I can't understand why God's doing this to me. Amen. We had a conversation here the other week. Amen. Somebody said, I can't understand why 
God is doing this to me. And I asked the person, I said, are you sure that it's God? Has God sent you a memo that He's doing this to you? Amen. And they said, well, how, how do you? I said, sometimes we do the things to ourselves. Amen. Amen. By letting the devil cause a diversion in our life. Amen. And I, because when we take our eyes off of Jesus and we begin to slip back into the old past of sin, you know what the Bible said? Uh, God said in the book of Hebrews, He said, damn, that I love, I chastise them and I rebuke. Amen. I'm going to add tonight, amen, that every once in a while, God takes me to the woods here. Amen. And tans my hide and say, boy, get back in line. And lets me know two things that He still loves me and that He still cares about me and He wants me to do things the right way. Amen. Boy, I tell you what, in this nation, the devil has blinded the eyes of people, letting them feel in their heart that they're living right, they're knowing in their head. the devil will cause diversion. Yep. Mm -hmm. He'll cause you to look at things the wrong way. Boy, don't let the devil don't let the devil devise a plan to hinder you in the walk with God. Amen, people today, amen, today that God might be even calling into the ministry. Amen, that God might be wanting the men to uh, stand up in the church and say, hey, God has called me to preach. And, amen. Tonight, but the old devil, he'll come up with a devious plan. Amen. And he'll say, well, you're not capable of doing that. Right. Amen. Tonight, you're, you're not quite ready for that state. I, I believe if I was you, I would hang on off just a little bit longer and sit a little bit longer in the church and learn more about God. Amen. And, and let the preacher preach to you and, and be a mentor to you. Amen. Because you're not ready yet. Amen. And the old man and God is saying, you go for it, son. I got this. Amen. And I've called for you. But the devil's plan is, he knows he ain't going to get you all the way out. But he knows that if he can get you into a place to where you'll just stall doing the plan and the will of God. Amen. Tonight, the devil knows two things. He knows it's going to slow you down. And he knows it's going to give him a little bit more time. And the word on your soul and to devise a scheme and to get you out of the house of God. Amen. Amen. That's what diversion Amen. is all about. Amen. And then we got <coughs> defeat. Amen. The old man, he'll make you feel defeated. Uh -huh. That's right. Amen. He'll make you feel defeated. The old devil, boy, he'll, he'll make you feel like, well, I can't do anything anyway. What's the use of me even trying? Amen. He, he'll get you to feel like that people don't care whether I come to that church or not. Why should I go? Amen. He'll put that defeat mark in your life. Amen. A defeated person can't do anything. Amen. To be able to do something we got to know who we are and who we believe in and in whom we trust. Amen. Tonight, but the old devil, he wants you to feel defeated. Amen. Tonight, and, and a lot of people will go around and say, well, I can't do much for the Lord. Amen. Tonight, I, I just can't do much because I, I just don't know a whole lot. And, amen. I have this problem and this problem. And I just can't do very much for the Lord. Says who? Amen. Tonight, boy, says you. Amen. You're That's limited to right. God. The devil has got you defeated in your own heart. And he's got you thinking because of this and because of that and because of this. I can't do what God wants me to do. I feel sorry for you. Get over your defeat. Get in the lane of victory. Amen. Tonight, and let God come on board. Amen. Amen. I used to drive race cars. Ain't very many people know that. <laughs> I used to drive race cars on, on the dirt track on Friday night. 
Amen. Hey, man, boy, I look forward to that. But you know what I didn't look forward to? I didn't look forward to that guy being ahead of me whenever we crossed the finish line. <laughs> hey, man, because I felt like I was defeated. Hey, man, and boy, I'm telling you, I got in that car one night, and boy, I said to God, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the pedal to the metal. I'm going to give this thing everything it's got. Hey Amen. I'm either going to blow it up or I'm going to yeah. win. Hey Amen. Yeah. And boy, I'll tell you what, yeah. back then, I didn't have sense enough to be scared. Hey Amen. And boy, I got in that car. Hey Amen. That guy brought that green flag. Boy, and I pushed that hammer down on that car. Hey Amen. It was doing good. There was one guy in front of me. Hey Amen. Boy, I said, if I can just figure on how to get around him, I believe everything's going to be all right. Amen. Hey Amen. Boy, I was right on the bumper of that time. Uh, boy, they, every time I'd sway to the left, he'd come to the left. Hey, man, every time I'd go to the right, he'd go to the right. He knows that I was going to pass him. Hey, man. Hey, boy, I'll tell you what, I devised a plan. Uh, I said, I'll sway her to the left and then cut her to the right yeah. real quick. Uh, hey, man, you know, open up the lane and I'll go around. Uh, hey, boy, little did I know. Uh, when I swayed to the left, I swayed back to the right. Uh, hey, man, boy, they bumpers caught a hold of each other. Uh, and they either lost. Hey man, and when that thing come loose, hey, the eyes right in the middle of the track is going around and around. I seen that guardrail about 15 times before I hit it. And when I hit that thing, driver's door was gone, hood was gone, and the windshield was gone. I come climbing out of that thing. I said, I'll never get in another one as long as I live. <laughs> Amen. He'll cause you to feel the feet. Are you in here this morning? And do you feel the feet? Is there someone in here this morning that is just saying, What's the use? Regardless of what I do, I'm not gaining any grain. Regardless of what I've done, I've not improved my relationship with the Lord. See, that's where the devil wants us at. He wants us to feel that's right. defeated. Come on, preacher. Hey, man, might I say today, if you're a part of the family of God, you're not defeated. Amen. Right. Amen. Hey, man, you got victory on Amen. your side. That's right. Hey, man, tonight, and boy, I tell you, if we keep running the race, hey, man, <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't important who comes in first. It ain't important who comes in second. It ain't important who comes in third. It's just important that we come in. Amen. Amen. If we keep our eyes right. up on Jesus, amen, and say, devil, get right. behind me. Amen. Did I, he'll, he'll, the devil will try his level best to defeat you. And you know the first place he defeat you is right here. Amen. Right. That's right. When he defeats you, the first place when that old serpent Come after Eve. Mary in the garden. The first place that he went to was her mind. Uh -huh. And when the devil comes to you, the first place he's going to come to, he's going to come to your mind. And boy, if he can get that mind to think of what's the use, he's got you defeated. You got every right in the world to rebuke him in the name of Jesus. You got every right when this invitation call is given this morning, you got every right to stand up where you're sitting at and say, Dude, I've had enough and I'm taking back what you give to me and I ain't going to let the devil have it no more. I'm a going home. Amen. I'm a coming home of a Jesus. Amen. Tonight, I'm going to get my walk right. I'm going to get my talk right. I'm going to get everything. Amen. I'm going to get my house back in order. Amen. Tonight, boy, I tell you what, honey, don't walk around defeated. You got Victory, yeah. 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 You got victory 
in the Lord. Christian Amen. people ought to be the happiest people right. upon the face of the earth. Amen. Amen. Because we have something uh, to look forward to. Amen. There's Amen. no sense uh, in looking like you lost your best friend. Uh, because if you got him, uh, you got your best friend. Amen. Amen. And he'll cause you to be the thief. <coughs> Number five. He'll cause a delay. He'll cause a delay. That's what the old dad was better than anything else. He wants to delay it. Uh -huh. For somebody in here this morning, they need to come to the altar. God's going, the devil's going to try to put you on the delay. <coughs> He's going to say, not today. Uh -huh. There's next Sunday. There's revival coming up. Lord, I get it right during the revival. What a blessing it would be to have it right before the revival started. Amen. Don't let the devil put you on delay this morning. You know what delay is? It's something that should have been done that doesn't ever get done. That's a delay. Hey Amen. Let's put it off. That's the reason the Bible says, Behold, now is the accepting time. And behold, today is the day of salvation. And you want to know why that he said that? Because we're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised 10 minutes from now. We're not promised 15 minutes from now. But we are promised right now. Right. And the Lord said, even over in the book of Revelation, He said, what did He say? He said, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. <coughs> we was out on visitation one time. <laughs> And this lady had this little old girl. She must have been about five years old. And when we walked up to the door, you could hear things on, TV on. And all at once, everything got cut off and it got real quiet. We were standing there knocking on the door. And after a few minutes, this little old five-year-old girl came to the door. She answered the door, and I said, hi, honey. I said, how are you? She said, I'm fine. I said, well, can I talk to your mom and daddy? She said, mommy told me to tell you she wasn't home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, couldn't the delay. The delay on things. I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, sir. As the song later gets a song ready. Are you ready? Are you ready to do business with the Lord? Or are you going to let the devil <coughs> slip up? <coughs> Genesis 3 and 15. Where it says, And thou shalt bruise thy head. That was talking about a battle that Jesus was going to have while he lived here on the earth in the battle of the church. And about that long struggle. But then it turned right around. And the Lord said, I'll bruise thy head. You know how to kill a snake. You can chop that thing's tail off all day long and you ain't going to kill it. But if you take something and chop that head off, that sun will go down on that snake. And that's what Jesus was saying. Plumb back in the book of Genesis. You might bruise my heel. But I will take care of your head. Uh -huh. I will get rid of you once and for all. And if you go to the 20th chapter of the book of Revelation, 
He talks about the devil and that old serpent being cast into a fire that burns with fire and brimstone and all of his angels <coughs> that followed him. Listen this morning. Make no delay. I want to ask you with every head bowed, every eye closed, <coughs> everybody looking around.